Okay guys, uh, kind of a weird, funny um, vlog today. I'm just gonna kind of horse around using my Reason software and make a little bit of music. Um, and I wanna do it fast. I have to be careful not to blab like I usually do. So here we go. Um, Uh, tempo's a little bit too fast. Slow that down a little bit. Okay, and so uh, get a little drum beat going. Add a little bit of life to the drum beat. See how that gives a little bit of depth to the sound? A little bit of rim. I'm just using the presets right now. I don't really need to change anything. You can go crazy with a little bit of delay, but we're not really gonna do that. Now, the melody that I have in mind we need to throw down uh, a little bit of bass. Mm. A little bit of bass guitar. Head over to our roll here. Okay. Okay, and again, for the purposes of our um, experiment today, uh, I'm gonna keep things very simple. Paste. Yep, and I think I actually want to start this on uh, D. Okay, copy, paste. Now, okay, classic, classic one, four, five here. Um, we should be looping this here, so a little loop button will just keep my little thing playing in a loop. A uh, little bit of extra space there on the bass. Okay, now it wouldn't be an arrangement of mine without some sort of crazy ass uh, ostinato uh, thing going on. So let's see here, let's throw a little uh, synthesize. And that is like, that is too rich of a sound for me. So we need to uh, find something a little bit, nope. Wrong button, Andrew. Uh, we need to find something a little bit more tight of a sound. It's very harsh. Um, don't want it. Mm. Let's see what a gangster lead sounds like. Sweet. Um, that's fine. And what we want to do is uh, we want to draw a little MIDI. And what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to find uh, a cool little uh, pattern that will work. And I want to do nice little short little bits. Um, now, it's in a 4-4 rhythm, so I'm kind of thinking like, what if we could do a pattern in six, and then it's gonna cycle through with an interesting sort of polyrhythm. Uh, good, so I, 
Let's take those six, copy it, paste it a few times. See how after I paste it uh, four times, it lines up with a downbeat again. It's just a strange downbeat. Um, and we might come around full circle by the time we're done. Nope, not quite. So it's not going to be the world's most perfect polyrhythm, but let's see where we are so far. Woo! I kind of like that. Um, I kind of like that. I kind of figure... I kind of figure I should change this up. Woo! Now that sounds crazy right now, but... Woo! I like that quite a bit. Um, I feel like we should have one more polyrhythm here where this returns to the B and it's going to lead us back down to the initial A in the high post. Um, and then... Ooh. Okay, very nice. Things are happening, I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm just gonna duplicate this so it goes all the way to bar nine. Very nice. Not to be confused with bar nine. Now let's add a little bit of life to this. Okay, making progress. Now the other bass guitar line here needs to also be duplicated across all the bars in order to get it right. And at the end we're going to just resolve down. Now, going back to our gangster lead here, uh, does this work better in a different octave? I'm going to select all, and this is going to sound crazy for a minute, but... a uh, wrong note in there somewhere, but uh, you know, that's life. Now, um, I want to take this, I'm going to duplicate tracks and devices, okay? Uh, but I'm going to get rid of everything inside. So basically we're going to have the same sound. And what I want to do is I want to make now uh, a little bit of a uh, Uh, that's probably too high pitched. So we're going to start on the note, okay, on the note D. Okay, and it's got, uh, you know, three sort of 
three eighth note group things. And we're going to play this as, again, maybe a little bit of a uh, polyrhythm throughout, right? See how it sort of carries over. Get rid of that. Cut that short. And I'm not even, I want to point out, I'm not even convinced that I want this to be this exact sound. I think that's one important thing to point out, you know, like, um, I, I know my theory a little bit, but I'm not like, I'm a bagpiper, you know, I don't deal in the keyboard often enough to like really be a total ace. So I've got a, a vague picture in my brain. Uh, some of the, you know, really great composers are, uh, you know, they've got this stuff so internalized, you know, I probably look like a little bit of a fool, but, uh, but yeah, we're just, I'm just kind of goofing around. I make mistakes all the time. And for me, it's all about trial and error. So going back to my gangsta lead copy, I kind of want to continue uh, making adjustments here. To start with these kind of simple uh, with these simple patterns but then I kind of want to break the mold right like I'm gonna take it and now I'm gonna try and make it interesting okay now instead of leaving this here let's put let's have it lead up right let's have it lead up to the D okay and then D, D. Okay, and then see how that sounds. absolutely hate that sound. So I'm going to play this on a loop and experiment with different That's better, isn't it? So much better. Okay, so uh, let's see where we're at so far. Stop recording. All right, so now it's kind of going to be the fun part. So you'll notice that I composed this carefully in the key of D. So if I did this correctly, my... Um, if I did this correctly, if I can find the other end of the chord, there it is. 
to do this correctly, my MIDI bagpipe. Okay. So my MIDI bagpipe is now hooked up to the whatchamacallit. Now, uh, let's start with something simple for now. Uh, again, just like a quick, like analog synth bass guitar. Boring. Cool. Okay, ready? So let's um, head over to the, whatchamacallit, we're in record mode. Uh, we want uh, click and pre. Uh, we want to quantize Sure. Sometimes that can get a little bit off. Ready? It's going to give me four clicks, then we're going to start. Okay, good. So there's my little jam. Part. Now, now, now we need some, we definitely need some sort of like crazy jam as well to go on top. dig that. Now, um, as it stands, it's kind of muddy. But what if I take this uh, and just crank it up an octave? I kind of feel like we either need to maybe go up yet another octave. No, that's too much.
Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next episode.